What is going on, everyone? Welcome to a special episode. So today, what we're going to be doing is uh, doing the, like, Fugar book thingy. And uh, apparently there's a lot of chapters for this one. And um, we're going to do that. Because I got this after I finished the Calfeon, or not the... Uh, we're going to Calfeon, but... Um, we got the entire book once we turned our season character into a standard one. So we're just going to go through that. I heard it was uh, pretty decent rewards. There's just a lot of books to go through. So hopefully um, we'll get as far as we can or we'll just see where it takes us. Um, rent a matchlock from person. If I had like a general idea, I'm pretty sure it's... There, I thought, dude, I thought it was Calfion. All right, well, that makes it easier. I'm glad I didn't actually go there yet. <laughs> all righty. Yeah, we'll see what all the rewards are. I'm pretty sure, like, if I were to just Google it, I could see what's up, but that's less fun. So basically, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna rent it, show it to the Black Spirit, return it. Easy. What is this thing called? Like this, uh... All right, lady. Dude, I swear, like, half of these quests, I feel like, are for newer players. Produce cooking honey. Open your inventory. Grinding on Beehive. All right. Of course it is. Where do you even find beehives here? I have like, I'm pretty sure hunting is one of my lowest next to training. Yeah, life skills that I don't do. Dang it, I accidentally used that. It's whatever. I highly doubt I'll be uh, doing that. Let me just repair it, charge it. happened. <laughs> Alright, so grinding... Alien's tears. Oh boy, dude, we have so many in here. All right, let's do this. Guru seven gathering or six. 
I learned how to make cookies, honey. Cool. Dude, that is such a rip-off, dear God. These are worth so much. You should never actually do this for profit. Then again, you shouldn't be like hunting bees for profit either. Dang, that's a lot of lila petals. Number six. Complete the mysterious companion quest. Uh, dude, I swear this is like for new players. Because I'm. I actually got extremely lucky with my fairy. Because the first time I. I have videos of it. Back when fairies first came out. Um, I tried to roll one, I couldn't get a tier 4, and then they introduced the system. Well, I think it came out with the launch or something close to it. But it's like, you can upgrade your fairies if you got like a tier 1, you max out the level, and then like combine it with some stuff, honey wine. And then it goes to tier 2, you do that, max it out, now here's my tier 4. The ones you really want to look for, if you are like a new player and just don't know what you're doing with fairies, um, basically free stats or passive what you really want to look for is a miraculous cheer and that one is like auto potting so you set the pots up and then if your health goes below x amount of like hp or whatever it'll use a pot feathery steps is really nice as well um inexhaustible well is actually a useless dead skill now because uh back in the day there used to be desert debuff which means like randomly You'll just hit a debuff on you, and like every five minutes, even when it happened, it was still pretty bad, but <laughs> like nowadays they just straight up removed it from the game, so I don't even know why I have it. And um, so yeah, if I were to like reroll off a skill or a fairy skill, it'd be inexhaustible well. I would try to change it to... Um, Morning Star, because grinding at nighttime with the permanent lantern is pretty nice. Uh, Fairy's Tear is actually kind of trash as well. Um, you shouldn't really be dying in general. Like, if it, this doesn't even matter for PvP deaths, so it's kind of irrelevant. And if you die to uh, PvE, um, I guess you don't lose XP once. It's kind of useless, so you shouldn't be dying in general. <laughs> so. Yeah, I would like to have a uh, free one. All right, let's see. Um, com 
complete the Mysterious Companion quest. I legit just completed it, dude. Hollander just did it, dude. What do you want from me? Press the O. What do you want? I just did it. You want me to use all of them? My R key is going to break. Let me see. Radiant is what you really want. So I'm pretty sure all of these were. Uh, got a tier three? These are all tier ones, tier two, and a tier three. We legit have done this like 10 times. All right. I don't want to get rid of my fairy, dude. I can unsummon. Uh, well, this quest is about to be here forever if I can't turn it in. You can buy these? I wish I knew that. Uh, these are for like tier 10, um, tier 10 horses that don't have, well, talk to the black spirit to complete this quest. Dude, that's so stupid. I mean, we were gonna do this anyway. How do I turn these in? Oh. I should probably keep these. These are pretty important. Hand over a gold bar, a thousand G, 100 mil, to the Calfion storage keeper. This game better would give me something good. Wait. Hold up. This guy is telling me to give the Calfion like, storage keeper 100 mil and I get 10 mil in return. Bruh. That's like, we're like straight up getting scammed. Dude, we're just like, we're going to Calfee on knowing we're gonna get scammed. What the heck? 
Whatever, I guess this is a money dump in this game. Sure, I guess. Why would you do that? Man, I really need to keep a character in Calpheon for this this reason exactly. Yeah, I should probably transport someone to Calpheon. I still don't know what they changed with the fairy because when they came out with the skin for it, it was like, yeah, something doesn't look right. And then we're gonna change it into next week. So it's probably changed already, but I don't know what changed. So sure, I guess as long as it works. All right. Um. All right, boys, for science, we'll give the dude 100 mil. We'll get 10 mil in return. We're lighting 90 mil on fire for no reason, but that's fine. these quests like really all right Wait, he didn't take it? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Reach Apprentice 1 in any life skill. Done. Achieve 100 energy or higher. Yeah, so these quests are definitely for new players. <laughs> Like, hey, you're just starting the game. Here's some, like, big accomplishments you can make. All right. Talk to Santa Monzi. I think you can do these in all the characters. I hope so, anyway.
Ho! Oh. Thousand eggs. Portafaria area has enough slots. Eh, sorta. Use filtering to produce purified water. Uh, empty bottle. I don't remember which NPC sold it. I th think it was... I know there's one in Hyadol, but I'm pretty sure someone sells it in Velia as well. This is why they tell you, well, this is something I was always like, I think I could do all of the life skills on one character. No, you really just save so much time by having multiple characters in different places. I'm going to show you something you may or may not have already known. All right, so let me see. Where do you buy the empty bottles from? Um, material vendor. Uh, dude, it's been so long. You guys know you can filter like river water from this fountain. It's kind of dumb, but it works. <laughs> I think it's pu like uh, river water. While we're doing that, might as well. Ooh, pen hunger. Probably that's a lot of money for uh, like a four AP upgrade for me.
These are going down in price slowly. I've been watching it a little bit because I was thinking about uh, possibly getting one, but it's like, how much do I really need it? Because right now I have a Bassy belt at Tet, and I would be losing two AP to get like 18 accuracy, and that's really high end. That's kind of worth, but if you're just like still gearing and you're not full pen cap or nine or anything. I wouldn't really worry about that one. Capra stones are slowly, like, people are selling them, which is nice. I think there would be some on the market if they raised the price or, like, the hard maximum um, to, like, 5 million per Capris. And um, that would make it more profitable for life skillers and then people who, I don't know, grind, I guess you can get them. See, this is why I'm so happy we have characters in every town because I have to like buy strawberries for no reason. All right, why am I buying strawberries? I just buy them off the market for not 700 each? Does that work? Oh. No, it does not. Jesus. Hundred beer in your residence. Let me go back to the uh, market and storage real quick. be honest it's been so long what do I need to make beer <laughs> good... wheat leavening agent purified water or sugar We're going to keep this one.
again, good to have characters in every town for this exact reason. There's a good chance you probably have a house in Velia or Heidel if you're a new player. At very minimum. Alright, so it wanted... Wheat. Wheat, purified water, sugar, leavening agents. Yeah, just in case, I guess you, if you are a new player, then um, maybe this will help you. Probably not. Just all the stuff that uh, they teach you in the beginning. Sugar, leavening, uh, pure mineral What, dude. This game is so dumb. I was about to say, is like, you'd rather use that. Oh god, dude. Hold up. forgot I don't have one second cooking on here. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Once I'm done with this, I can grind it for the powder anyway, so it's fine. Um... Do I have a verdure in somewhere here? It's still not one second, but it, it'll have to do, because I'm not about to bring my main back to idle just to have one second cooking. other things like I'm pretty sure a villa scroll increases uh, if you had the actual cooking costume that's another second 
Obviously, the higher your cook's clothes, the better, but irrelevant. We might get skilled one. one then skilled got it so fun and interactive. This is why cooking is an AFK activity, not let's sit here and watch it so we can start a next book. Craft Apprentice's cooking box. Use processing Imperial Cuisine on the beer in your inventory. Teach me how to turn it in next as well. I might as well place it down. Ooh. Sell belly and smoke trick chicken to the trader and hide. What the heck, dude? Who? Wait. What? Okay. Let me out of my house. Trader Avelia from Bahar. What? Dude. Is my horse. I thought I had a horse whistle for this. Oh, apparently not. Uh, well, this is awkward. You gotta buy it from Belly and trade it into Heidel. Well, now you guys know how to do cooking and imperial cooking. That's cool.
Do I have a filtering one on my main? I don't have a shaking and the grinding. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we're going to stop there for now. It's been a while. We'll continue it on next time. It's like we're starting the game over again, basically. feels like it. But we'll do that next time, and I'll see you guys later.